Hi guys, I'm Metagross Freak. This is HJE0000. You remember it. There we go. You remember it's, it. it. It's an obscure number of zeros. And mm -hmm. he went to Japan this summer and got me a Tengu mask, which I looked on YouTube and there's like nothing on Tengu, which I think are really cool. <laughs> what? Well, yeah. Okay, there's nothing on. on Tengu, and they're. Uh, okay, I'm going to butcher the pronunciation, but. Yokai? Yokai, yeah, there it is. Yeah, are. They're, really, they're really cool. I think that it'd be cool to share this part of culture that isn't widely known. Because I was looking at like popular culture, especially in gaming, and there's very few examples of Tengu. Like, there's Shift Tree, who's oh, yeah. <laughs> kind of Tengu ish. It's based and, like, on. Yeah. There's. Karatenmon, who's also kind of bad, <laughs> who's just bad, and then there's the Black Wings and Yu-Gi-Oh, and there's a few other things in like, like D and D and Pathfinder and stuff. But oh, yeah. like most of it is basically just like bird people, and that, that I basically I feel like someone just went, hey, let's take a harpy and make them more bird instead of human. And call it a Tengu, mm -hmm. which I think is kind of like ignoring the cultural aspect. Yeah. Because um, there's two different types of Tengu. Yes. Yeah. There is. Oh, also, Tengu is um, Japanese for like divine dog, right? Uh, yeah. Mostly. So, how come it's more? How, uh, so, if the, if the name translates to divine dog, why, is, why are Tengu in general more bird like? Um. Well, uh, Tengu, at first, when it, it was basically originated from China, and from, I think it was like called Tengua or something, and it, I, in China, it was more of a dog form than like in Japan, but over the decades, well, the hundred years or something, um, they kind of started changing with misinterpretation maybe. And okay. it, yeah, because yeah, because I know I know I know like significance wise, the the the, the view has changed a lot more. Because I remember, I, I remember from doing some reading that like before it was more like these they were more like views like malicious spirits, and then mm -hmm. it was kind of like with like in with interaction to Buddhism, right? Yeah, and then but like the more the view now is more like protective forest spirits. Oh, yeah, that basically And up. so I just think it's kind of weird how much it's changed. Because it's not, it's, it's not like something, you know, it's most, most uh, mythical creatures, regardless of cultures, kind of stay the same. Mm -hmm. Or if they do have variation, it's more like a slight variation. Like I, uh, the dragon being probably like the world's most popular example, oh, yeah. being like, the European dragon being more like this greedy, you know, this greedy, more lizard. Arrogant well, kind it, of. arrogant being more like a lizard like creature. Meanwhile, like the more Asian dragons are more like, you know, rather than us being greedy, we'll give you luck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, or, um, I'm the, I, I know we're going off topic, but like the the legend with the, the, the four dragons in China and that uh -huh. they like sacrifice themselves to bring back rain. And then oh, yeah. each of the dragons became one of the main four rivers. So I just think it's kind of interesting that going from China to Japan, we see such a big difference in the Tengu. And oh, yeah, yeah. Like just because, like, it's not, I mean, just because, you know, I'm not that I'm saying that China and Japan are at all the same, but usually, you know, we see a lot of differences, at least between Asian culture and European culture. Mm -hmm. And we talked a little bit about that yesterday. When we were talking, when we were talking at dinner, but um, oh, yeah, yeah. I'm not gonna get too much into that. Yeah. But generally, there's I'm gonna be very. I'm trying to be more politically correct to there here. There's more uniformity. You know, it's like when you go from like France to Spain to Italy. You know how there's not like you know there's obviously differences, but there's more. They're not like too different. It's more like. Yeah, you know, it's more like, you know, twins, how, you know, on the outside they look a lot alike, but when you get really into it, you see that they're different. I just think it's interesting that 
you know, yeah. one little <laughs> with with you know one thing that there's such a wide difference, especially because you know I know I know Japan had the whole isolation like yeah, nope I we're not going to trade with anybody thing, yeah. but you know they're only the like Nether basically thing. next door neighbors. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't know, China, basically, China and Japan just hated each other for a long, long time, unfortunately. Yeah, you, you, you were talking about that yesterday. Yeah. I, I thought that was interesting. I didn't, I didn't know that. Oh. Um, and yeah, and there's a, like a, insane, a saying in J Japan that means um, becoming a tengu, mm -hmm. which is a phrase that means you are becoming arrogant. Oh, okay. Yes, and a tengu in like mythical culture in Japan, well, in the past, they were like arrogant and very greedy creatures. And yeah, basically that, basically the phrase comes from the Tengu because they're arrogant. And if you become a Tengu, they, they tend, people mean you're arrogant. Yeah. You can't see it as much on this mask, but it does have kind of a long nose. I've yeah. seen some of the pictures of the Tengu shrines and like the mass, and like the, 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 the their noses go out to like here. Yeah. They have like these massive like it's I don't want to sound disrespectful, but like almost like sausage like noses. It's yeah. Just, it's crazy. Yeah, and um, in anime and sometimes that's... characters ha you know, like when they oh. like become prideful, their nose kind of You know, I actually read uh, I actually read that um in One Piece, uh, Usopp. Yeah. That he, cause <laughs> based on his character and the the fact that he has a long nose is supposed to be like a reference to Ten Yeah, as well. so a little bit. So I just think that it was interesting. Um, I'm gonna wrap it up. Yeah, that's all right. Just, <laughs> <laughs> I just, I obviously am not an expert in Japanese culture because I'm American and I've only been to Canada, Canada, outside of America. So Canada is a country. Wait, who's Canada? I don't know. <laughs> um, love you, Canada. Yeah. Um, so. <laughs> I want to since I did I noticed there aren't any like cultural videos talking about Tengu other than a video that just says like hey look at Wikipedia I wanted to share this with you um so thanks for watching bye yeah